quote, I checked your page today. Can make a video for building card tower or tutorial for card shuffling step by step. Okay, let's go. guys I'm back once again and today I'm going to teach you guys by request how to shuffle playing cards like how the gamblers play it how the normal magicians shuffle it and yeah let's get straight into it right number one is called the Hindu shuffle that looks like this mainly yes there is a way you can control a control means the way you now let's say they choose this card, the Nine of Spades, right? As you see in the performance, I can just bring it to the top, you know? Obviously, you can't just, when it's in the middle, of course, you can't just straight away do that. You have to mix with a few other shuffles. Now, let me teach you the shuffle first. So the shuffle looks like this. We're going to hold the deck with like this. Hope you can see. The thumb right here on one edge, the edge closer to me, and the middle and the ring finger on the outside. Right now, all I want to do, I'm going to show it in this point of view, so I'm actually going to use my, the same fingers from this hand but in opposite hand, I'm going to use that to actually pull one, one portion of the top, like so. Alright, so kind of like repeatedly do it until there's no more cards in your right hand. Now people normally ask me, do you move your left hand or your right hand? Well to me, I think moving the left hand would be simpler. What I mean by that is when you're moving your left hand, you're just moving the left hand and your right hand stays still, while well, the left hand kind of collects the cards in that sort of way. If the right hand moves, moves if the right hand moves, the deck won't be really perfect because mainly you see that's what happens if I kind of use my right hand to move. If both hands move, it's kind of like a marriage between both hands and it looks kind of nice, I think. I don't know, it's up to you. But for me, I would prefer my left hand moving only. So start off slowly, start off maybe half a deck, like so, and start. Peeling cards about this much, about like, um, how many cards right here? So, about 10 cards, about ten, 5 to 10 cards. Slowly start doing that. Don't, because when you start, first start off, you're gonna bring one big chunk to your left hand, which is gonna result you in less cards right on the right hand left. So, once again, the Hindu shuffle is kind of like this. The, I'm going to overview it again. The right thumb towards yourself, the right middle and ring finger towards the outside, your left hand. It's going to use the same um, the 
the same fingers as you're using for right hand up. One important kind of thing to note that your right index finger doesn't stay doesn't stick to the top of the deck like this. So because if it sticks to the top it will be really hard to kind of like remove it in that kind of situation. So yeah. So I'm gonna try it again. And yeah, that's how you do the Hindu shuffle. Now this next one is actually kind of like my favorite. It's called the uh, overhand shuffle, and it looks like this. See, easy. So the overhand shuffle is somewhat. It's easy to do. It's easy to perform, but sometimes you make a little mistakes here and there. I'm gonna teach you how to do it. So start off with the deck in your right hand like this. Yeah, like this. So the thumb to the edge towards myself, the index finger on the other side, the outer side, and then the middle, the ring finger and the pinky towards the outside. And what I'm gonna do is I'm actually not gonna push these cards like so. Right? I'm actually gonna let it fall by releasing this the thumb and the fingers here release it and then come and then once it releases a bit then it comes out and then goes in front and then releases again you can put your left thumb over here just to have like friction or something it's all totally up to you not totally up to you it's a must sorry so once again this the index finger over here on the outer edge, the thumb towards myself, the middle ring and pinky on the outside, so it's gonna happen when it looks like this when you shuffle. Start slowly as usual, then go on to casually make it bigger. All right, for this next shuffle, it's kind of called the uh, in the hands shuffle. So the part where I kind of riffle shuffle, but I kind of do it in my hands like this. So yeah, and I'm going to teach you how to do this, so let's go. So mainly this is uh, one of the hardest flourish people try to achieve, but you know it's kind of like easy to do it once you get a hang of it, and I kind of like in love with this move a little bit, so I'm going to teach you how. You are going to hold the deck like this, the middle, the middle, the ring, and the pinky slightly over the outside of the deck the, the index finger on the top card curled and the thumb kind of like going over the edge but it's kind of like you see peeling so in this action you can actually do this by itself without much um, no. so you have to try and do that first let me try to do it again yeah like so so once you learn how to do that, you can proceed. Because once you start, first you start out right, you're gonna look like this. It's gonna look like because you don't you haven't developed the muscle memory yet. So it'll probably take about a week or something so to kind of refill it like this. And once you get this, so you're gonna refill, continue until it reaches halfway. Once it reaches halfway, you're going to open your other hand then this end is going to fall here like a bridge and then this these fingers over here I'm just holding the card with the left hand by the way these fingers over here is going to kind of like push it up like this so it actually so when you refill the deck right you no know, when when it lands it can you can see it kind of lands on my middle and ring finger of my left hand and then when I push it up, this is important, this is very important. You know, you're gonna grab it with the thumb, like so. Then your index and your ring and your pinky is going to be contacting that as well. And then you're gonna get to a position comfortable where you can do this too. So you gotta actually practice both hands. So that's step number two.
step three is learning how to do the actual shuffle. So once again, I'm going to repeat this once again. So middle index, middle ring pinky on the outside, the finger one curled up on top of the cards, on top of the deck. The thumb over slightly enough to riffle the cards. You're going to riffle half drop it over here wait sorry drop it over here on the middle and ring and then catch it with your thumb and connect with the index on the pinky oh by the way one more note like if you do this slowly right the cards will definitely kind of like lose its place and whatever so it's kind of better if you kind of do it fast but not very fast i mean like average speed like this kind of like this we try and do it again, like this. So then, you're going to actually pressure both, like what you did in the first move, but this pressure only right hand. So you need to pressure both now. So you're going to put the cards together and it's going to bow the cards. And then, and then actually these two fingers on, these three fingers on both hands is kind of like, you see how the cards doesn't fall because these three fingers are supporting it. So I'm gonna try and teach you again. So you're going to curl it up like this, you're gonna bend it, and then you're gonna let one by one. But normally when you start out right, you're gonna it's gonna look like this. It won't look nice, I promise you, when you're first doing this. But later on you get the hang of it like this. I'm going to teach you that bridge later, but if you want to learn this basic move, right, instead of doing the bridge, you can kind of like connect it. You can kind of like turn it vertical and then connect it together. Yeah. So now I'm going to teach you guys the bridge. So the bridge looks like this. After I've done the shuffle, like this, right, I'm going to actually bend the cards, but keep them in this state while I'm doing so. And then go, I'm going to while well, I'm doing this right, I'm trying to kind of like uh, trying to do this, but with my these three fingers on both of the hands, I'm going to let go, and so the cards will actually cascade like so. I'll do it again if you didn't see that clearly. And yeah, that's the bridge. This doesn't need too much teaching, but your thumb is gonna be here pressurizing on this, and then your thumb, your these three fingers are gonna let go, and then it's gonna, like, it's kind of like going in this action a little bit. Don't don't be too exaggerated here. So yeah, that's the average on how you shuffle in the hands. Now one more thing. If you have cards printed by the USPCC, wait, let me get this box kind of says here printed manufactured by the United States playing card company then it's most likely traditionally cut and what you can do with traditionally cut cards is this very beautiful move I'll show you guys here this is called a pharaoh yeah pharaoh it's like a marriage between cards if you kind of master it, it can go one by one I'm sorry Try to do it one more time on camera. You see how perfect those cuts are? Some of them are not perfect, most of them are. So I kind of like the fair shuffle. So, how you do that is by this you're gonna hold, you're gonna break the cards, you're gonna have to take some time to break the cards equally like there are 52 cards in the deck with my two jokers there'll be 20 there'll be 54 so each pile of this has to be 26 cards at least all right now once you've done that right you can kind of like you can see it's not straight you're gonna hold it you're gonna break it now this is gonna hold like in a 
upper position. Now this is gonna hold it differently, like it's like holding it in a Hindu shuffle, you know. So it's kind of easy to relate that. So then you're gonna tap so it's straight. Alright. Then you're going to use this the corner here to match with the corner here. It's gonna press against corners. And then you can see it's kind of like weaving. I'm trying to show you. That's what's kind of happening. So you can see what's actually happening. The cards are actually weaving itself automatically. So you don't need actually don't need actually need any work at all. And that is a beautiful thing about USPCC playing cards. Right. And now let's get to the table shuffles. Now the table shuffles are actually very very simple to achieve. Now from this point of view, you won't see how I look like, not how I look like, how I look at it from my point of view. Right, so straight into it, your left hand is going to kind of like bring the top portion to the left side, while your right hand is going to bring the bottom portion to the right side. So left to left, ah, sorry. Left to left, right to right. So then, you are going to put these two fingers together, and the the ring, these rings, and the pinkies doesn't really play much of a role. But I'll tell you later on. So right now, it's gonna look like this: the thumb over here on the inner edge of yourself, the finger the index finger pressuring so you can actually kind of do this ripple motion so it's kind of like the same with the in, in the hands ripple shuffle the middle finger over here leaving a bit of space for your ring that's very important you do it the same with the left the right hand and now here we go so we're gonna actually kind of like we're gonna make sure that it's kind of close to each other kind of shuffles together once you're done, you're gonna push both ends straight and then I'm gonna hold with my thumbs right here. Meanwhile, my index, my ring fingers play an important role on pushing the cards inside. One more time. Reform push. Now it's actually really simple and require a kind of soft surface to do. And once you're done with that, you can mix it around and then you can have fun with it. I taught a push through false shuffle tutorial back a few months ago, I think. You guys can check it out. And yeah, that's my tutorial for shuffling. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe, comment. It really helps the channel a lot. Thank you and I'll see you next time.